Kamusta mga bata? We will talk about something special today. And it has something to do with our relationship with God and our relationship with one another. We will talk about forgiveness. We can read about it in the book of Luke, chapter 23, verses 33 to 34 and 46. But before we begin, let us all pray. Let us close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for this day and for keeping us safe all the time. We ask that you would bless our new lesson and help us understand it. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Let's start! Has anyone ever done something wrong to you? Something that made you upset and you had to deal with it? Have you ever done something that you knew was wrong? Maybe against a friend or maybe even against your parents. It can be hard to admit when we do wrong. But it's important to say sorry and it's important to ask for and receive forgiveness. Sometimes, we as people have a hard time forgiving. Well, today... We will learn that Jesus loves us so much that He died on the cross to forgive our sins. This is the story of a time when Jesus finally got to the place called Golgotha. The soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross and crucified Him along with two other criminals. There was one to the right and another to the left. The soldiers made fun of Jesus. His friends betrayed him and left him. People mocked him and insisted that he is a criminal. The soldiers beat Jesus and they made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Jesus looked up and said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. The story about Jesus' death on the cross can be very sad. But it is also important to know that Jesus died for us. 
Jesus willingly died on the cross because he loved us so much. Jesus did nothing wrong to deserve death, but sometimes we do things that are wrong, like when we disobey our parents. But Jesus died in our place so we can have an everlasting life with him in heaven. Let us read our memory verse for today. In Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. Let us read again our memory verse for today. Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. You know, kids, this is how God's forgiveness works. He knows that we have made mistakes and might make mistakes again. But He is always willing to forgive. We can be thankful for that and in return, God wants us to pass that along. He wants us to forgive one another when people do things against us. Now, forgiving others doesn't mean we let them hurt us or walk all over us. But it does mean recognizing God's mercy and out of thankfulness to Him that we pass it along. Our forgiveness to others is never perfect. We struggle and we need God's help even to show other people mercy. But we can take comfort in knowing that His forgiveness wipes away our sins, things we have done, and even the things we don't know we're going to do yet. God will always renew and restore us. Why don't we thank Him for that and we can ask for His help as we show mercy to those around us? Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for granting us mercy and forgiveness. Help us to ask for forgiveness and try to make it right. Help us also to forgive people that hurt us and to forgive one another. Give us peace and not bitterness. Thank you, Lord, for erasing our sins and thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright kids, punta naman tayo sa ating question and answer portion. Ready your pen and paper. Question number one. What is the title of our lesson for today? Question number one. What is the title of our lesson for today? Letter A. Never forgive. Letter B. Soldier forgives. Or letter C, Jesus forgives. Question number two. What is our main Bible verse? Question number two. What is our main Bible verse? Letter A, Luke 23, verse 34. Letter B, Luke 34, verse 23. Or letter C, Luke 24, Verse 32 Question number 3 How did the soldiers treat Jesus? Question number 3 How did the soldiers treat Jesus? Letter A They treated Jesus like a king Letter B They treated Jesus badly Or letter C They treated Jesus like a friend Question number 4. Did Jesus curse those who crucified him? Question number 4. Did Jesus curse those who crucified him? Letter A. Yes. Or letter B. No. Question number 5. For whom did Jesus die on the cross? Question number 5. For whom did Jesus die on the cross? Letter A. For the animals. 
letter B, for the plant? Or letter C, for the people? Alright kids, I hope you learned a lot today and you got all the answers correctly. You can send all your answers to Teacher Isa on Facebook Messenger. Yun lang, paalam mga bata. Until next time! Down in my heart, deep, deep down in my heart.